Is that new Hallmark Christmas film, Falling Like Snowflakes, worth watching? Give me 60 seconds of your time to hear my review and recap starting now. Tegan, a photographer who takes pictures of snowflakes, teaches a photography class in a building with no heat, freezing her students. She's propositioned by an art collector who will buy all of her snowflake photographs and fix the classroom heater only if she captures a photo of the lucid 12-side cellar dendrite snowflake. She enlists the help of former astrometric scientist turned snowplow driver Noah driving into the center of a snowstorm to capture the picture of the snowflake. Only to have a rival photographer try and also capture a picture of the snowflake, but luckily has nothing to worry about since she sucks. Staying overnight at a Christmas-themed inn, possibly run by a thin Santa Claus who cosplays as Scrooge, eats a charcuterie board, stays in separate rooms, gets lost in the woods during a snowstorm, loses her camera, only to be recovered by Noah, discovers she captured a picture of the snowflake, and falls in love with Noah at the end. So final thoughts. The movie was better than I thought after reading the initial synopsis. It's not a great film, and I got no Christmas feels out of it. But being lost in a snowstorm was laughable. I give Falling Like Snowflakes a C-. And did you notice that Noah and his daughter have to keep their marshmallows in this glass jar because he can't open the cupboards because they're blocked by the stockings? Well, that's my take on Falling Like Snowflakes. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to click on that subscribe button. Have a great Christmas in July 2024. I'm the Christmas aficionado, and remember, stay off the naughty list.